Hello everybody, my name is Threatex and welcome back to Star Sector and our carrier only let's play. So I'm currently taking down a nearby bounty which actually gets me a quarter of a million pounds which should be super handy for not going bankrupt in the next 10 minutes of the video. Uh, there is actually, um, unlike normal battles, this guy's actually got some normal ships so he's actually got himself some uh, hammerheads, uh, griffin missile cruisers, loads of really cool actually working combat ships instead of just fighting pirates. Uh, we're going to try and kill them as soon as possible. I have actually deployed the entire fleet because, uh, well, fighting working combat ships is a little bit different than fighting pirates. Now, let's see how it goes. Can't see anybody at the moment. I would have loved it if I could actually try to scavenge a carry off them, but I don't think they actually have any. What are these? I've actually seen this before. I don't remember there being a green missile. Wait, it's beeping at us? <laughs> uh, oh my god! Is it a laser missile? Gorgon SRM pod. Can I have a look at that? I can't. What is it? Okay, we need to get one of these. We need to reverse engineer it and put it on our ships. The game's created laser missiles. That's amazing. <laughs> it's a perfect uh, combination if you like missiles and lasers. Okay, so as I mentioned, we've got some actual enemy fighters here. Let's be a little bit careful. Um, I don't want to go... Oh, it's really cool. Oh, wait, I just realized they weren't even engaging anyway. What an idiot. Okay, so if I try and take down enemies that are not too defended here, maybe we go for the guys off to the flank here. Guys, engage! I'm going to continually move backwards because uh, these guys have some real weapons. You'll be careful of here. Oh, wait, where's that going? I think he's going to go for the eagle over there. Which is fine. I'm not actually going to go and help there. Ooh, let's take this guy down, shall we? I like how as soon as a shield goes down, you just see those red drones suicide into the enemy and blow up. I want to watch, watch this missile again. Oh, there's loads of them. They're not all laser missiles, are they? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I decided that I'm going to switch over all my missiles with these. Um, even if it doesn't even work that well. It just looks so cool. I really want to put it on my ships. Let's have a look. Can you guys finish off that little... Uh, vigilance down there, if you can. You guys stay away with me with those. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. I love the ideas of missiles in this game. There's so much you can do with this. Is this a different version? Gazer. He's got like an e... Uh, is that like an ion beam it's firing now? Oh, why did I know this existed earlier, everybody? We could have had a fleet of uh, laser missiles. Can you imagine all the laser missiles across the map? It would have been glorious. Uh, anyway, it looks like my friend's having a little bit of trouble here. Oh, I forgot to mention last episode, I may have done a little bit of a change here. I gave him regular auto cannons, Way less flux. Less damage, but it should be a lot more um, stable when it comes to fighting. We need to save him though. Even though he's got a more efficient ship design, he's still having some troubles here. Save him! Okay, come back, come back. Ooh. Some good damage there, actually. Ah, oh, look at that! Yes! Good job, guys! Eagle down! That's what I want to see. We probably should get rid of these uh, missile crews as well. I think this is a guy firing all the MRM versions. That must be a... Oh, yeah! Beautiful. I, I know I keep saying it, but I just love this game, everybody. Look how cool this is! It's just awesome! You can't... It's just... I, I'm sorry, I'm a massive fanboy. It's a big problem. Imagine if I was playing EU4, my favourite game, it would just be a video of me just saying how amazing the game is the entire time. No gameplay, I'll just be paused, just saying like, wow, <laughs> look at this. Nah, it's fine, I'm not that much of a... I'm not that bad. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's try and get these guys wiped out, shall we? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, they're putting back a little bit. We're still trying to capture the sensor jammer, though. Let's go and help out, take down some of the... Oh, actually, I changed my mind. If I land the hit first, we can hopefully break the shields. Oh, that was perfect! That was a match made in heaven, everybody. That was a beautiful attack on our enemies there. The Griffin's having a bad day. This is awesome! So they're also acting like point defense? This is great. I'm going to be careful, though. We need to capture their technology. 
we got to keep an eye on bounties, by the way, because if we get a bounty which has, like, a, a, a massive carrier, I can might be able to kill them and then take it off them. I did check, by the way, they didn't exist. There is actually a bounty with four legions, though, but I don't want four legions. <laughs> I'm okay with one. Ah, oh, that was the most depressing torpedo ever. Yeah, there's only a few of them left here. they still got an eagle over here? I didn't even realise. Despite how cool their lasers are, they haven't got the ability to defeat us. I'm a bit sad to make some of my Tempest retreat, though. Oh, here it goes, everybody. Are we ready? It might actually survive this. I feel like it was a bit segmented. We did a little bit of damage, but we didn't kill it. Yeah, guys, go in. Finish him. I hope they're going to finish him. No, the monitor got blocked it. These ships, this ship is extremely annoying. It doesn't do much damage, but it's got an amazing shield. I think it has like a thing, so it takes like 5% damage for the shield when it's activated. It's extremely annoying. Eventually, it will give up. Oh, no. It's still alive. <laughs> oh, my. I feel like you can make like a build... It I'm going to pitch you guys an idea, okay? What if you had a fleet of monitors with just maximum capacity shields and you win the battle by doing nothing and then eventually the enemy CR will run out and they just malfunction and blow up? Would that just, it'd just be the most annoying fleet the world's ever seen. Uh, anyway, apart from my horrible ideas, let's carry on, shall we? None of these, ha I'm sorry, buddy. None of these have what we need. None of them have carrier bays, but I hope I get the missiles. Please, RNG Jesus, give me what I need. Okay, this is the one I saw earlier, right? This is the one that fires... Okay, the Gazer Dem forces a cruel choice upon targeted vessels, particularly those with a shadow flux pool. Raise shields and build an excess flux while ra uh, raked by the Grazer's gravitation beam, or drop the shields and open oneself to more direct attack. We've also got the Gorgon Dem. Now, this is awesome, everybody. I, I I need to calm down. I'm sorry. I just realized it's a small missile mount, which means that all my Tempests can now equip this beautiful thing. The Gorgon was designed as a lightweight delivery system for an energy strike fire from unexpected attack vectors calculated to in initiate beyond the range of the heaviest anticipated PD coverage. <gasps> it's so intelligent. <laughs> a solid Dem packing... Uh, Packing reliable burst attack power. Every one of my ships needs these. I've changed. I'm changing everything. We're stopping everything. <laughs> everything I'm doing is now going to revolve around these these things right here. The missile fires a high power laser which gets to its target, dealing approximately 800 energy damage in a short burst. <laughs> it's only got limited ammo though, but it sounds awesome. I don't care about the long term success. We're going to do it, everybody. It's happening. Okay, so before I go and do this, we probably should go and actually uh, go back to a base. So, I did mention before, we are still horrifically cursed by the giant Pirate Armada of Doom. Uh, bounties, these two specifically. Uh, this one's actually super... Oh, actually, I'll go this one first. This one's affecting my system. No, it's not. That one, oh, this one's first. Sorry, I've got to do the one, this one up here. Uh, if I can actually go back to June, actually. I think it's next to this system. Yeah, we'll go to June first. I'll switch over the missiles. Uh, then we can go and stop the enemy pirate base just messing up my colony. It is still cursed. It's got zero stability. It's got a food shortage. It's just getting worse, everybody. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Um, that's actually kind of upsetting, though, about the food shortage. We need to get ourselves some more, um, uh, like, patrols and stuff. I've only got one small patrol yard, which is being funded by an orbital yard, but it's still not enough, really. Okay. Let's do this. I can also equip this fella, which I'm going to do immediately. Um, let's get rid of this guy. I'll put this one on. Oh, man, I'm so hyped. Yes. Do you know, a, a missile only playthrough might be fun as well at some point. Um, also, like frigates and destroyers and stuff as well. There's a lot of things we could do with this game. Uh, oh my god, no, no, we won't put them on there. We'll put them here first. So what's the difference? They're the same. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. You may may or may not notice I'm kind of excited about these new drones, okay? 
It's fine. <laughs> uh, can I get any? Not really. No. Um, that's fine. It is what it is. We do have more pods, though. I might put the rest on the drover. I do deploy the drover still, so it can help us out. Hey, drover, can you get some gorgons? I guess I can also put those on as well. Okay, cool. Uh, should I actually give it... If it's just got missiles on it, I'm going to give it an ECM package. Uh, what was the one I need? I think it was this one. Yes. I can also potentially equip the additional ammo one as well. Which is somewhere in the game. I just can't remember where it is. <laughs> ah! No, that's it. Combat rated also that provides a limited number of reloads out of the ship. I forgot about this. So it can increase it over what it already does. That's awesome. I won't equip that now though. But if we do a missile playthrough, that'd be very, very handy. Okay. Let's carry on, shall we? I cannot wait to see my drones or my missile lasers just blow people up. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be very excited. <laughs> so I apologize in advance. Uh, let's go to this place over here then. We must go this way. I'm just imagining like having an entire fleet. I mean, what we what if we just get? What's got the most missile mounts? Just have like 10 per ship. 20 ships. All firing laser missiles. Ah, oh, can you imagine the screen? It would probably break my PC <laughs> with how amazing it would be. Uh, I wasn't even... I wasn't... I didn't touch that. Nah, nah, I want a refund. I wasn't that close. Screw you, game. Anyway, moving on. Um, and the enemy should be in here somewhere. I've never been here before. Ooh. This is where you randomly find a blueprint. Oh my god, what is happening here? <gasps> what is... Is that... That doesn't look like a pirate vessel to me. That looks like something else. Let's go have a quick look. Oh, this must be the bounty. No, it is pirates. They've got the new combat ship. <gasps> okay. Wait, have they colonized this location? What is this? Oh, this might be something I can actually... Um, Sorry, it might just be something I can loot. My bad. Oh, this system's amazing, though. Look at all the stuff we got here. How much is this worth? Let's go and attack. Let's go, guys. I want to see lasers everywhere. Especially you. It's a ridiculous amount of uh, units there. It's all good. Maybe uh, something that maybe want to consider. Maybe you have like a little um, bay where you can actually install like drones on the ship as well. Instead of like missiles. Have like a little drone bay that like, shoots out like a point defense drone or something. I don't know. I feel like a drone swarm would be pretty fun as well as fighter swarms. Ah, beautiful shot, buddy. Okay, so in terms of useful things, we've got another boy down there, sense jammer here, and another one up, another one up there. I've never fought this ship before. It's the new big battleship of the Sindarians. I'm actually looking forward to it. Let's go and see what it's like. I thought I was going to break the uh, defense there. Is it in range yet? No, I can't see it yet. This is good though. It gives us a little bit of time to try and wipe out some of the defense defenders. I can hear the noise. It's happening somewhere. Where's it happening? Yeah! <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, it's so cool. Have we found it yet? Oh, that's, what is happening over there? There is there is some stuff happening. That's all I can see. So let's have a look. But wait, before we go too far. Executor class. Standard missile battleship. Oh. The executor is a modification of... um. Oh, sorry. Altair Exotech Radical Cruiser School. Capital Pegasus Class Hull. That's a bit of a mouthful. Modifying starships at the forge level is a feat only available to policies... Uh, what? Policies? Willing to invest in... I don't know what that... I'm just stupid. I can't read that word. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Willing to invest in employing a highly trained specialist 
class of engineering technicians. After all, why invest in risky innovation when the bone of the Dominion provides ships to, um, to fill every role? Because the line of Asconia demands it. And no, Dominion of the Cypher Fuel Economy, Supreme Executor Philip Andrea, had the credit to pay for a capital ship specifically designed to outfit the products of extravagant energy weapon platform. What is happening with the description? It's so random. Anyway, it's fine. Um, It's got two large missile racks, two large energy, two hybrid, four medium energy, four small energy, four ballistic. It's got a lot of stuff on it. And it also increases the damage of all energy weapons if it gets into range or something. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's technically a missile cruiser. It just has some missile mounts on it. Um... Yeah, let's get rid of the other guys before we get wrecked here, though. Also, I haven't eaten today, so that's probably why I can't read very well. <laughs> Damn it, B! It's fine. Um, okay, I want to probably focus on... Let's go and help kill this fella. Engage! I haven't seen the, them fire off the new one yet, the EMP version, the Graviton one. Hmm, they're doing quite good here defending, let's be careful. I'm worried about this getting closer. <laughs> it's so much bigger than my ship, it's not even close. We may be in trouble. You need to do bombing runs, buddy. If you don't do bombing runs, we're not going to win, okay? Oh god, it's, it's getting closer. We're going to start a bombing run on it. If we engage it with our fighters, we might be able to flux it out so it has to back up. Oh god, it's terrifying! Oh, okay, I'm a bit scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start crying in a second. Uh, can we get some additional... We need the carrier force. Carriers, assemble! Yo, no! Oh no, the flux! How are we doing? How are we doing? Attack now. If you land the longbow, it will turn off. It's backed up. It's back. Are you okay, buddy? Do you know what? He's actually okay. It barely even broke his shields. It's fine. But I think we got kind of got a bit saved there by the random allies that showed up in between. Okay, I've got to kill that flanking guy over there. We're going to have a bad day. Do you know what? It's actually a mistake. Let's get rid of that mission. Everyone focus on your nearby targets instead. We don't want to get flanked and pushed into charging into their formation. It's a terrible idea. Okay, that hammerhead blows me about to die, which is pretty handy. Oh, it's in range again, isn't it? Oh, God! Stop getting so close to it, man! Okay, you need to back up. You need to leave. You need to leave. He can't... The AI is confused because there's an enemy behind him. We need to get rid of this guy. No, you got to get get out of his way. He's meant to be retreat. He's dead. He's dead. It's too late. Damn it, guys. It's not that hard. Just reverse, man. Okay, I'm going to go back to plan B then. We've lost the main ship. It's fine. He dies all the time. It's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. We just put it back together with duct tape again. Retreat, man. Get rid of this guy. We should overload it, hopefully, in a second. There you go. I have got enough bombers, though, unfortunately. Come on. There you go. That's it. Legion's down. Can you everyone avoid that ship for now? Just don't get in it. I think I messed up by leaving all these random missions on. It's really screwed up the formations we got going. Uh, also, someone needs to go and save our friend over there. Can you guys go and give him a hand? Okay, we want to avoid. We want to avoid everybody. Back up, back up. Don't go near it. I will help that attack, though. I think I should be attack helping the attack. No, nope, never mind. Too far away. We want to get away out from here. I think he killed. He drove us dead. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Oh, it's a pretty cool ship, though. Luckily, it's got some pretty bad missiles on it. <laughs> For a missile battleship, it's got some pretty duddy missiles, so. Yeah, I want to go for this target over here. Do you know what? I reckon we could do it. Switch target. 
Oh, wait, no, no. I will keep doing what I'm doing. It looks tempting, but this attack's going to get blocked by that eagle. My attack's going to get probably defeated. We've already got three cruisers here. I will assist here, though, if I can. Go, guys. Oh, I'm in range of the enemy uh, battleship's defences. Yeah, that at least backed that guy off. Let's go over here. Enemy Falcon retreated. Interesting. I like how the battle's kind of calmed down because everyone kind of died. <laughs> and there's not that many people left. Okay, so what we're going to do then... If I can get... How am I being attacked by fighters? Ah, didn't I see a condor earlier? I think there was a condor around here, which we can't see at the moment. i got to keep backing up, though. This guy will kill me 1v1, I'm pretty sure. And I'm also being chased by the battleship. So I'm going to just turn off the shield. We're going to super speed up and go left and up. And try and keep away from the main enemy here. Uh, can you... Use your things, please. The good news is it seems that ship's very slow. So it's not like we've got to worry about it too much. Can you go and do a bombing run? Actually, screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Oh, I was hoping he would attack, but sometimes the AI just doesn't do it. <laughs> They're like, nah, man. I'm not doing what you are, so I'm doing my own thing. Can you guys go for that? You just go over that way. I want to get my guys away from the corner of the battlefield because if this guy locks us in, we're doomed. We've got to get out of here. We're going up, everybody. Up, up, and away! Oh, I've reached my um, engagement limit, which is not brilliant. It's actually tempting to do a treat, but then it's going to take too long to get everyone out of here. It's probably better just to, uh... How about... One launch of bombs before you get killed. One. Oh, they got overloaded. Never mind. Pull back. Okay, cool. So now we've got to deal with the remainder of the enemy. I'm going to switch this over now to the fire strike mission. And I'm going to assign all the remaining carriers to it. Now, the good news is, two of my carriers are behind him. Good hit, good hit. This is a battleship, though. This might be a bit too much for us to handle. I think we need to mostly rely on the longbows landing their hits. And I think once it gets overloaded, we can keep it there. Tempest down, not good. There's a lot of us. I think we can overwhelm it. This flux is very high right now. My bombers are not doing... Why are you almost not come back? Very good, very good. I think it's just him now. There is also... I forgot, there's an eagle below me. A bit dangerous. Can you harass... Is the second round. Okay, good. His tank's not that good. Once we've actually... Yeah, a few good bone runs, this guy's out. Though he does keep killing my fighters, which is pretty annoying. Why well, should be paying more attention here. Let's back up. Excellent. Good job, every it killed Tempest on the way out. <laughs> it's going to be quite a few repairs, I think, after this battle, but we have won it. Uh, also, because it had a uh, full-on battle um, ship, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of money from this bounty. I'm not sure what it is worth, but...
It's over. You're not surviving this one. Actually, he did. My bad. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, well, bomb the more TPs on the way, though. There's always enough torpedoes. But I've got to be very careful here, because I've just killed the enemy here. And now I'm in the middle of a pirate location. I recover vessels, I recover all of mine. Uh, let's get out of here. Ooh, look at all this stuff we picked up. Another steady officer. Remember, we can't get any more, though. We've reached our cap. Okay, let's get out of here. What was that bounty worth? Two. It was less than the other one. The other one was really easy. <laughs> Maybe they got to try and think about the balancing there, but... While we're here, we have to check these things, right? Wait, what? I can't do it. Is it because of this guy? Nah, man. Wait. I can't loot because of a tiny frigate. What are you on, man? Let me just quickly kill it, guys. We're still a camera. It's fine. Okay, everybody. That guy is dead. I can now loot what I want to loot. Where? What? 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 Who is tracking me? Is it this? Is it the station that's causing the problem? It might be. Uh, let me just uh, sit here for a little bit. There is so much loot we can get here. <gasps> what? Is that? A, did I get double? Inspe no, it's only one. <laughs> I was going to say, just millions of inspections at the same time. I will be there to help defend that. I've only got 53 days to go back, though. Uh, I'm currently healing. I really want to grab all this loot, but the game is like, no. They just spawn so many enemy pirate bases. Look at all of those uh, enemy fleets. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. They're going to come and attack me, by the way. I'm pretty sure. And everyone keeps comparing about my transponder being on. I'm not a coward. If they, they know I'm here. If they want to come and get me, they can come and get me. Okay, good. It's only one of them. Oh. They got loads of combat freighters. It's okay. Don't worry. We got this. Maybe quite the battle, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to spend the entire play hitting pirate bases, but this pirate base is causing a lot of stability issues in my empire, so it has to go. It has to be destroyed. We can't let her live any longer. Not a very good bomber on there. Oh, it's got flak. That's so annoying. Okay, back up. It did no damage. <laughs> the flak is too powerful. Unless we have... No, no, it's still no damage. Overload, overload, overload. Perfect. And now it's vulnerable. Yes! Flak man is down. There's someone behind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, why are they facing that way? I like how you can see that this is nearly fixed, but the engine is just broken still. Engage. It should be a quite easy battle to win, actually. Uh, can you guys not do those missions? I'd rather you just had no missions if we had to pick between the two. Uh, someone go and pick up that nav boy, though. Love the noise of the uh, high velocity driver. It's pretty awesome. Ooh. I. Oh, why did they go all the way down to the left? The flank was too powerful. There you go. Atlas is spotted. There's still quite a few of them. Get rid of the little ones first, because I have got back up on the way, but... Just casually driving out the way is fine. Are you going to fire your missiles, or are you just going to awkwardly stare at them? Oh, they're overloaded. I didn't realise. Uh, no! No! How long is the overload time? Never mind. <laughs> that bombing run was a complete failure. Ooh, this guy can actually cause me some problems. If he gets me with my shields down, he will cause me many, many bad days. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, he's backing up. Good, good, good. That was a bit dodgy, actually. I was a bit worried about that one. But don't let them escape. These damn pirates. I don't know where they keep getting them from. There's like thousands of like, they must have like a massive like baby pool of like, can, maybe they're cloning the pirates. Oh. 
Okay, I seem to be in abandoned by my fleet here. Oh no! Okay, I'll take it. Real quick then. It's like one of my. It's like I only vent every like three episodes. People really hate me for that. Ow! Man. Okay, they're, they're already fighting one of the carriers. Good. I'll try and join up if I can. Everyone, they're going this way. Follow me. There's more enemies than I thought there was, to be honest. But I guess they did spawn, like, three martyrs out of nowhere. <laughs> as soon as I wanted to attack the base, like, spawn the martyrs! Ah, good. I've actually come around the back of the enemy carrier force, which is super handy. Tempest destroyed. Damn it, guys. Not like this. Oh, they're going to defend themselves, though, I think. Let's see what happens. Well, that wasn't very successful, was it? That was <laughs> achieved nothing. Probably should have gone for this one anyway. Ah, I can see friends. I'm not alone. Oh, wait, don't crash into those giant things, guys. Be careful here. That guy's definitely dead. I thought he's gonna, I said that, I was like, wait, is he not dead yet? What's going on? Keep firing. There's gonna be a lot of enemies between us and the pirate base, unfortunately. But I might skip the battles and me kill the other pirate martyrs. We see me kill pirate martyrs many times at this point, so. There's many of them. <laughs> they continually spawn. Ooh. I like the little Tempest Swarm I have though, it's pretty fun. Oh no! Good job guys. Uh, I think we're okay. Oh, that went, I thought I was going to get shot by the point defense drones. Bit lucky. Okay, now we've got to take care of the enemy super carrier. Well, the second one. I was not very successful, but luckily for me, I'm not by myself, so. No, guys, attack the big carrot. No, okay, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> when they kill everybody else, eventually they have to attack the super carrier. Right, here it goes. Hopefully this one run, but I kill it. It's a pretty good one. Got all the, all the cannons on the side. But no. Excellent. Okay, cool. Oh, was this? Oh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's do a auto resolve. Recover my broken ships. And I think that is that. Pretty good for our prisoners, though. We're getting tons of them. Okay, I want to. I'm going to quickly phase away. We will kill that station. I'm gonna just gonna run away a little bit, wait for my guys to repair, and then we'll dive in and we'll take out the station. Good show, everybody. Oh no, they're still there. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh no, oh, there's so many pirates. Oh god. Move away. We will find a way. Okay, the enemy pirate raiders are going to raid. It just means it's gonna be me and, oh, and some rocks. But, <laughs> damn it. Wait. Good. I thought for a second they said it was over. Yes! It's time. Deploy the Navy. In the Navy. So I don't know I did that. Is that copyrighted? I'll find out. If the video gets demonetized, you know why, everybody. Orbital strike enabled. I don't know why I called it orbital strike if we're in space. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Go, my pretties.
So where are my pretties? Oh, they're my pretties. Oh, my, why do my guys always get overloaded? Yeah! The laser drones! <laughs> That's my favorite addition to this game. Um, yeah, definitely. Over the years, what's the best thing? Laser dro uh, laser missiles. It's happening again. Oh, that was a concentrated strike right there. That was some damage. Remember, this is the this is the gun session. It's not even been had a chance to fire at us. It's just been completely dom dominated. Last one. It's an overkill. My plan for this episode has not gone well, by the way. I was I thought it was going to take me like five minutes, and I was going to be doing something else, but I guess it didn't really work out. <laughs> and there's also all the loot we got to get as well. There's like loads of stations we have to look at. So I think I what time is it? I still got time to do what I want in this episode, though. So it's okay. We can do what I need to do. Come on, guys! So everyone's just attacking the wrong part of the station now. And victory. Good job, everybody. We have destroyed the pirate menace that has been attacking many of my beautiful cities. I also got more money. I've also got more skill points. I've also got a whole system full of random junk. It's gone so well. Okay. Let's also increase the... More permanent hull points. Interesting. That could be very powerful. You could pick both of these, right? Yeah, I can, okay. Um, or I can do this one. Gain non-helmsman. I think this is less important in a fleet like mine, because all my fleet uh, things have officers in them already. So it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, but it also is very, very handy for getting more ships in if I get a bigger fleet, which I do want to get a bigger fleet down the line. Uh, let's go for... That one. Screw it. We're doing it. It's happening. You can't stop me. Also, we get more command points that way, so I'll take that skill. And oh no, we've lost that many people. That sucks. Am I going to get attacked by billions of pirates now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. We can this one off camera. Okay, everybody. In the end, I had to pull back from that pirate system because there was just so many left. And I was running out of time to go and stop the inspection on my nearby colony. Um, wait, let's have a look. Where is that going on? It is happening in 29 days in Fados' view, which is not great. Uh, I can probably teleport down to June, then go to Fados, and we'll see if we can stop the attack from happening. Ooh, wait a second. Ah, I forgot to install the uh, device here. This place is still pretty cursed, but um, it's getting better. In fact, if it wasn't for all the food shortages, it would probably start actually showing positive things. Uh, also, I I accidentally reloaded the game due to like a memory thing, and I didn't kill the pirate base, which is really annoying. <laughs> so, but I guess I've run out of time, so I have to just go back, kill the uh, hegemony fleet, and then go back and kill the pirate base again. But I don't have camera this time though. Uh, oh no, there's another pirate thing coming my way. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We need... Oh, don't tell me there's pi There's so many pirates. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to ignore it and we're going to teleport to Phalos, okay? I can't be dealing with this many bam pirates. How do they get the materials to build these ships? <laughs> it's just infinite ships everywhere. It's a bit ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, Where am I? Perfect. We go to the... Ah, this is what I want to do this episode. I could do what I wanted to do. So if I go over here... I haven't got, by the way, seven days. Oh, God. Okay, uh, where's my base? We could do it. We could do it. I really wanted to make an alliance with somebody just so I had some backup. Uh, these guys aren't very strong, but they do have some cool ships. So we're making an alliance with these feathers. Why, hello there, friend. Wait, wrong button. Invite the Sindarian Didact to form a new alliance. Yes, we are the Unified Dominion. Excellent. Okay, that is awesome for me. Um, let's see as well. Base commander. Wait, what am I doing? Repair all my ships. For sh Actually, not that yet. They'll get the crew first. I need a lot of crew. That will do for now. <laughs> I lose a lot of pilots being a carrier fleet, even with all my upgrades I've installed in. So it's a bit of a nightmare. Uh, let's get some of those. Done, done, done. Do they sell me their cool ships now that we're allied? 
They do. They haven't got any because they haven't got a um, heavy shipyard. So they're just making stuff out of like scrap metal. It's not going well for them. So we got that sorted out. Uh, we can repair all our units here, which is awesome. I also got tons and tons of high value prisoners. I might just give them away. Uh, let's see, special prisoner action. Yeah. I've already got good relations with these guys anyway. This is a big boost in money though, so I'll take all that. Okay, let's go and try and save my Carney over here. I'M COMING GUYS! Oh god! <laughs> ah! It's okay. Don't panic. So I'm trying to drink water all the time it's recording. I am very professional all times. Never question how professional I am. So. Oh god! <laughs> it's so bad! Increase defense patrol HQ. Eventually this will be fine, right? Because I will get more of these patrol HQs and stuff online. But right now it's not looking good. Um, it's fine. I will definitely kill the um, various pirate bases off camera though. Because it's just too much of a problem really. Okay, so we made it over here. There's a battle going on over that way apparently. Uh, have they arrived yet? Let's have a look. The bar, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. No, 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 no. There it is. Okay, they are... Travelling to the system. Now, hopefully that doesn't mean it's going to take a while. We might skip until they show up then. Well, everybody, it looks like I've been attacked by their faction. Now, I've, I guess somewhere they've been attacked. I don't know where. I was actually going to try and intercept them, but I literally have no idea where they are. It's driving me crazy. I really can't afford to lose this base either, so I have to make sure I actually find and kill them. Ah, who was that below me? They, they're going to come from that place, that place, or that place. So I reckon they might just pass me. Let's see if we can catch up quickly. Who is this? This seems like it might be... No, it's my guys. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, what is this? Peace between us... Oh. No! We will not make peace, we just declare war. <laughs> I refuse. Where on earth is this damn fleet, everybody? I have no idea. Oh, but now we're at war, they're going to start attacking me. That's fair enough. Um, yeah, I don't know where they are. I'm just going to presume it's okay. <laughs> if I if I lose my base to uh, them now, I, my bad. I'll just find a way of stopping them. But now we're at war with them. I probably want to start trying to take these guys down. Um, let's have a look quickly major offense but i really need to first off go and save my system from the horrific amount of pirate bases so i'll do that off camera between episodes uh, oh by the way i i may release all these as one big episode the, la the last four I recorded so if that is the case that's why it's confusing sometimes why i randomly stop what i'm doing and do something else aha i failed okay perfect well everybody how's it going it's actually been a while since i last recorded because i decided to uh try and play a bit off camera to try and speed up the ending of this series to get a really cool ending with a big battle. So um, I've actually just been doing some random stuff, killing hegemony, uh, invasion fleets, and I'm trying to do a mission right now to actually invade a world nearby to get a bunch of money. If I take this place over, I'm currently orbiting, I will get like two million pounds. Pretty handy. Though, quite interestingly, as I've been flying around here, I noticed that this is the wrong button. There is actually some really cool loot I can get from this system. I can get an amazing um, fuel-centric AI core, which is very, very handy. Uh, some blueprints, also very good. And also a pristine nanoforge, which actually allow you to do a nanoforge on a planet without causing pollution, I think. I'll grab it and I'll see. But for now, though, it does mean that I can grab some of this stuff here. I hope that it's not going to mess me up. <laughs> so I'm a bit concerned that if I go and do this, I think the AI around might start attacking it and maybe invade it in themselves but if that does happen it's okay i'd rather get these really cool items instead of getting the two million pounds at this point uh, i'll take that thank you very much how much oh look how those weapons i just got specialized nano forge i do a firmware and seeded nanotech increases fuel production by three very very good sand low station or no atmosphere so i might have to build one of those at some point i don't think i've actually thinking about it I don't think I've got a fuel yard. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I do. I mean, no, nah, I'm pretty sure we don't. I probably should build one as soon as possible, though. Um, I could probably actually put one down on this place eventually. This is the only place I actually own, which is actually just a station. Uh, the rest are going to be planets and whatnot. But it does cost a lot of money, and I'm currently still horrifically poor. I'm hemorrhaging money like a madman right now, which is why I'm trying to get this mission done to... 
Why is the cost of the mission gone down so much? Sorry, you guys couldn't see it earlier, but I swear it was a lot more earlier. <laughs> it's okay. I'm still going to invade this place. I just need to actually get myself the um, stuff first. Anyway, I thought I'd just quickly say what I'm doing, and I'm going to be grabbing these cores to get more power for my future endeavors. Okay, let's get this invasion going. I have a lot of weapons at this point. <laughs> uh, the enemy is got a lot of various units down here, but I'm not too worried. Actually, you probably should... Ah, oh, fire support prevented. That's just sad, everybody. I wanted to start off doing that. Is there anything else I can do? Reorganize? Uh, I'll just deploy units. I'm sure it'd be totally fine. Uh, deploy the units. Let's drop a squad on there. Drop a squad on here. My squads are quite small unfortunately i was hoping to have some more powerful ones to be honest i can double tap it though i don't want to deploy too much technically because of the cost of supplies but at the same time i kind of want this to be happening quickly so i'm going to deploy just everybody <laughs> i will get paid for this it will be worth it don't worry about it let's see how this goes shall we hopefully for a day one victory you never know come on game 90 marines, 5 heavy equipment, but we have taken over a lot of the territory. I don't, did they lose there, or did I just not put units there? <laughs> I have many questions. Oh, I feel like they might have just moved over to this location instead. I hope that I can get properly paid for this. Can I, I can't raid at the same time, can I? I can! Oh, that's so annoying! If I had a little bit more troops, I might be able to do additional raid and get some blueprints while doing this, but I'm not bothered. I mean, the blueprints I could possibly get would probably be the legions, so it's not too amazing. I got it, have I? No, they're doing a counter invasion. This, this is like mine, though. Interesting. It'll probably just be another day and it should switch over. There you go. It didn't... No! Oh, come on. All right, that's them canceling an invasion. I, do, I got a mission, though, game. This keeps coming down. <laughs> I'm not going crazy, right? The cost of this mission keeps going down. What is happening? I have many questions. Uh, anyway, I wonder if there's an option so I can click to actually transfer this over. Uh, not that one. This one? No, I think I just got screwed over. The game just flat out screwed me over. Maybe I should uh, manly give them over. Uh, maybe I had to transfer it to another market. I'll take the stuff that's on board here. My Marines are back on board. Special function. Let's have a look. Maybe I... Not sure. Transfer to another faction. This may or may not work. Aha! I got paid for it. Even though the uh, pay rate has gone down by probably 1.3 million. You know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. One more enemy has been defeated there. I'm actually going around just taking down all these nearby locations. I, I feel like we can do a lot of damage to them without actually going for the big military bases. Uh, I am still trying to get money to not go bankrupt. But this is still so far away from being available to start working. It's a giant pain. Um, I would try and help them out, but it's a bit of a nightmare. What we could possibly do while I'm waiting is maybe upgrade this to a military base as well. Um, how long does it take? To 120 days. It's probably worth just waiting for the other thing to come up. Oh, I can do in the interim though. I might just put down the fuel production instead. Just because we can start making some money from doing that as we wait. Uh, let's get that started. Done. Okay, cool. Uh, I might actually consider doing the other invasions as well. Which that is most of my money gone. So I've been flying around space trying to get myself some ships, not going real well by the way, but I have actually just stumbled across a battle between the Sindarian Navy and also a Dreadnought fleet. There it is. Wait, let's have a look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big boy. What are these weird, what are these lasers that are firing right now? So I'm trying to select it as a target but it just won't work it's fine i don't know <laughs> it's probably because i'm in um camera mode maybe it's because i'm too far away if we get a bit closer i might have a look at it i'm actually kind of concerned because i've only managed to spawn in three carriers and most of my allied fleet is just terrible <laughs> uh hopefully if we kill some enemies we can maybe get some more gaps and stuff okay there it is uh hellboard cannons i don't know what these weird things behind the main guns are then 
all I know is I probably didn't get too close to it before <laughs> I get some backup or I might just die. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're already at the deployment limit, unfortunately, so we are going to have to wait until some allies die. Uh, in the interim, though, let's see if we can take down some random enemies on the sides here. That is a big boy, but luckily it's face- wait, I wonder if we can do a bombing run on it, because it's turning the wrong way. Let's try and get rid of this cruiser first. I don't know why, the Sindarians, by the way, they still have their uh, Lions Guard homeworld, but they still have no shipyards, so <laughs> they have really bad ships. I think this entire navy is made up of like 4D mods, it's uh, pretty pathetic to be honest. But it's okay. To be fair, I think it's exactly the same, yeah, it's the same for the enemy as well. Like, both of these fleets are just holding together with duct tape at the moment, they're not very strong at all. Ooh, now if only we had some bombers to help, okay, come on guys, there you go. Ah, oh, that random ship. <gasps> no, he got away with it. Oh, no, he didn't. I take it back. I was wrong. Oh, I love the sound of that. That was awesome. I kind of wanted it. Does it have shields? Wait a minute, guys. Go and figure out if it has shields. Uh oh, I changed my mind. Come back, come back. Revo reverse, reverse, reverse. <laughs> I don't really want to go near that. I'm not going to lie. Um... Are you going to just... I don't know what he's doing. Is he retreating, perhaps? There's no one up there. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, guys. Attack. Let's see what happens. Some people are dying as well, so we might get some reinforcements soon. Um, I I probably just need to get the carriers, to be honest. I know it's turning around again. I'll just see what happens. It doesn't seem to have shields. No, it definitely doesn't. Okay, interesting. So this is a shieldless ship. Not sure how feasible it's going to be, but um, I guess we'll keep attacking it and see what happens. Luckily for me, I'm directly behind at the moment. I wish we should get rid of that Lasher first before it gets too annoying. It's got a lot of armor, though. I didn't even... It's not even changed the graphic. <laughs> it's still got full armor, I think. What is its armor value? Uh, I. Armor, armor, armor. 11,000. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good, everybody. Yeah, that's a, that's a tanky boy. Imagine if you put some uh, mods on it as well, so you have even more tank. Cool, I can actually call it the um, super ship now. Help me, friend. We need more bombers. I'll keep doing some sneaky attacks on the back of it. Though someone clearly has flat cannons. Oh, it might be that actual ship that has the flat cannons. Let's just focus on this guy anyway, because... Uh, we we'll get rid of his defenses and then we'll try and take him down. There is a second one, by the way, but I don't think he's deployed it. So, yeah, I can't see it anywhere, and I don't think it's died, so he must have just not deployed it yet. Oh, the flak is so cool, but it can't defeat three torpedoes in a row, luckily, so... Oh, no! <laughs> Maybe, uh, don't face tank this guy. That's what I'm learning from this situation. Maybe, just maybe, just stay away. <laughs> well, the path you got, unless you got bombers. It keeps spinning around though, we're not going to get much damage done, because he's just going to be hitting different parts of the armor. Uh oh. Wow. This is why I like having fast ships, so I can just fly away. <laughs> Good news is though, we got all our uh, herons in the battlefield now though. I might need to, um, I'll leave it. My allies are killing everything. I probably, I know, screw it. Everyone, we need to kill this guy. Assist me, brothers. Oh, he survived. I thought he was gonna die. Well, it was very close though. Can we perhaps keep distance, friends? Don't, don't look at it. It's like Medusa. If you look at it, you turn to stone. And by that, I mean you die. You're too close, you're too close. You gotta back up, buddy. I think he's already dead. Back up! Back up! It doesn't seem to be able to use that ability all the time though, so... Ooh. Are you okay? It's okay, it's just a little bit crispy. Okay, this ship might be... Uh, let's go... Maybe we'll still this ship last, shall we? We'll be back! Mark my words, I'll be back! I'll go and kill the rest of your fleet first. At least you get a lar very large warning when it's about to attack. You get that really cool noise. 
That's even reckoned with Tempest. Okay, uh, so we've got a few cruisers and stuff on the top right here. I'll go and help them out. I can actually spawn in a few of my allies here. Is that worth it? Um, I called the last carrier, and then after that we're calling the Tempest. As my allies' fleet falls apart. I presume as well it might actually have a problem with... Um, what's it called? What am I trying to think of here? Deployment time. Though I would imagine our forces probably weren't large enough to actually start the timer. Ooh, I want some of these as well. I want to try and get some of these feathers. I think they might be an okay tank for my fleet. If not, I want to try and get some more legions or something large I can use. Or maybe just more herons. Anything carrier based, basically, I'm looking for at the moment. Can I just say, though, I absolutely love having these Mjolnir cannons. Um, I don't know if I put it in the video last time. I changed them over. It's a way better fit. It works really, really well. And it kind of now actually acts as a support carrier, so just flying into enemy <laughs> territory. Engage! That's a lot of bombers. I don't think my friend's using his, though. I don't, he might be. Yep, we're going in. Oh, no, I feel so bad. Super death. Grab that jammer as well, somebody. And then that boy. We need more speed. Everyone just avoid this man. <laughs> He's a menace to society. If we grab this, his weapon range will be lower, so it gives us a little bit more chance of not dying immediately. Uh, also, I can call in some Tempests. Give us a little bit of backup. It should be a big difference in the world, because it's not only that we get 5% reduction in their range, it's actually 10% because they already owned it. It looks like we want to try and... Oh, wait, this is the second one. Oh, okay, wait. We're going in, everybody. I will capture this thing, though. Okay. Start the bombing runs. Uh oh. You might want to apply your damage reduction perk, buddy. Problem is, because it has no shields, I can't overflux it. So it's just going to always be firing. Though the front attack was very effective, because you see the armor's actually gone already. So if we get that area again, it's going to die. Well, maybe not die, but it would be hurt a lot. Second wave. More allies are showing up as well. Wow, what's this HP? Wait, what's this HP? <laughs> HP 60,000. Wow. Um, This might take a few bombing runs. So what's the missile do? Like 2,000-ish? Uh, be careful there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. We're hurting it, but hopefully it won't kill my legion. Oh, I thought I got it like last second there, but I kind of failed. We need... Ah, oh, my friend's kind of stuck down there. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's trying to get to where we are, but at the same time, he has to travel directly through the enemy carrier. So, not great. We are taking this down, though. Hopefully we get some... I don't, is this technically... A, it's not a carrier, is it? It hasn't got any fighters on it. Can they even get through that? Uh, let's go deploy the rest of the Tempest. Help us out. Then I'll remove the objective to avoid engaging on the other one. Well, I say that. Oh, it's because there's a mission there. Oops. I didn't realize that was there. <laughs> Mistakes may have been made. It's fine. There you go. People should now just move around and go somewhere else. Don't get too close, Heron. He's too close, he's too close, he's too close, he's too close. Why are you so close? Buddy! I got you! I oh can't die, Evan! I take it back! Between the two of us, we did survive, though. Okay, all my units should now be coming up to attack this big dreadnought. It might retreat, though, because it's super close to the map. It might just decide just to take the plunge and leave. That was not very effective bomb run, was it? We do have an additional carrier coming soon. We've also got all the little Tempests, so hopefully they can help distract and... Uh... No, 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 no! Retreat, 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 retreat! I was trying to spread my damage out a little bit there between the um, Hellborn cannons. Excellent! Look at this! It's being attacked on all sides! Guys, okay. 
Add your bombs. The death of a dreadnought. Oh, it's beautiful. I think to be honest, it's probably be one of the most powerful things here, actually. Yes! Good job, everybody. Okay, we got one more to go and kill. Everyone, change objective. Let's go, boys! Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> what? Damn it, me! By the way, it's been very um, tempting to cheat while I've not been putting stuff on camera and we get warships, but don't worry, I haven't. I've only been using the carrier fleet. <laughs> oh, directly at the back as well. Ooh, that was a very effective attack there. A very brave Tempest. Good start. The back armor's already gone, and the sides are already a bit damaged as well. Whoa! Come on! More bombers! More should show up soon. We've got the entire navy coming. How come my guys aren't even doing bomber runs? I kind of just sat here and just firing and retreating back. I don't blame them, to be honest. Would you want to get close to this? I wouldn't. If we actually break the engines, I won't be able to turn around anymore. I'm going to try and keep on the back of it. Perfect. Ah, oh, this is great. That Tempest might die, though, but it's for the cause. Keep firing. Oh, my, my CR is getting low, but we, we need the DPS on all the carriers. Finish it. I don't want to get in the way of my battleship here. We need to get in the way. Oh, no. Be careful, buddy. So it's actually got armor on this side now, so we can do less damage, but we have a lot of bombs. <gasps> Man! Oh, it's so close. And victory! Cool. That was a fun battle. Anyway, I'm going to carry on trying to get myself some more carriers, then we're going to try and uh, attack a fortress sometime soon. Let's see how that goes. So I thought I was going to take my chance and jump into one of these high danger systems. I don't think we're going to do very well because my fleet is extremely squidgy. Uh, we have not got many tanks at all. I have been playing for a while and I just have failed to find any cool large ships, everybody. They're either like a million pounds and I can't afford it or I just don't find any. <laughs> but one day I will. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, let's take this guy down first. So the reason I'm coming here is because I was hoping that... Because I... I think the Tritachions and Sindarians have kind of just got no heavy industry. So I tried doing blueprint raids. Couldn't find anything cool. Hopefully if we do some high level, um, or this system right here, high level scanning and exploration, we might find some cool blueprints so I can build my own super ships. Uh, that's my current thought process here. Let's get those guys going. I have got some new carriers and stuff, but uh, nothing too special, unfortunately. And this guy, I don't know if this guy's actually worth it, to be honest. <laughs> People are like, oh, get this, it's a good tank. I know it's got some good abilities and flux capacity and stuff, or is it deployment points? I don't find deployment points for some reason. I always, my brain just fails to remember where it actually is. CR per deployment, 20. I would rather have a Heron, personally. It's fast, it can move out the way of enemies, and it also has a damage bonus, so the bombers are much more effective. But that's probably a personal preference, I'm going to say. Um, okay, when these guys fill up these locations, give it a second. One, two, perfect. Let's call in the rest of the fleet. I'm just going to deploy everybody. The um, Remnant are very fast, high DPS, but low tank. So I just want to make sure we gank them before they get a jump on somebody. So we know there was a... F there he is. Drone battle cruiser with a load of no smaller ships around it. I would normally do a try and do a big bombing run on this, but I think it's got too much ships defending it. I'm going to go for these carriers, though. Just to get rid of all their drones and stuff. Actually, this guy's by himself. Attack! Believe, men! He's... I don't think he's got much point defense. Come on! There you go. No, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> Damn it! He's a bit too far away there. But my allies are giving it a shot as well. They might get a better chance. We need to overload it before we start the main um, bombing run, really. Yeah, we should see a lot of ally shops soon. Here they come. Okay, start the bombing run too. Go! I reckon we can get this one in one go. 
Yes! That's one guy dead. Okay, everyone come back. I just realised it was still in attack mode there. Can you get those mule near cannons going, buddy? You're not a tank! Get back, man! He doesn't care. <laughs> He's a tank in his heart. We need to get the... Okay, back up, back up, back up. Uh, guys, can you engage and get, get him back up? Luckily, I can do a little bit of a flux attack if I want to. I'm a bit concerned about the drovers tanking here. Um, I need to get the... I don't want I don't want to add mods half at the end of the series. I'm just going to leave it as it was at the start. But I need the damn... Oh, oh be careful. I want the uh, mod that increases... Not increases. It gives them behaviours. Because I would put all these on quarters. Just so they don't attack randomly all the time. Oh, that's a great bowing run. Come on. Yes. Excellent. Brilliant is down. That used to be the bigger ship they had, but I think this is the new one they've added in recently. Just a bigger, scarier version with a lot of DPS right on the front there. I'm getting a bit too close. Back up a little bit. That's what I was worried about. Woo! It's okay. I got overloaded, but they can't carry on hurting me. Kill them. My little drones. To be fair, I did use them when I found that map originally. I think I'll rather go back to having the salamanders, but it's okay. That's a small carry, isn't it? Get my guys going. Finish them. Very cool. Okay, so we've got the main force now up here. Most of them have already died. Oh, can someone grab that quickly just to get rid of their uh, ECM bonus a little bit? I'm not sure if this is new as well. I know they had carriers, but I don't remember having a large carrier. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, it's pretty tanky, actually. Most things would have died from that. But it died anyway. Perfect. I guess the problem is going to be killing the big ship at the end. Now, if we're lucky, you might get some AI calls from this as well, which would be really handy. Well, I'm trying to think. I'm saying... Wait, I'll, I'll talk about it in a second, but maybe it's not as handy as I think it would be. Okay. Excellent. Is it just a big guy now? I want to try and capture some of these. Does this have a... Wait, let me just double check something. Does it have a... Uh... No, it'd be cool if it had a fire bay. <laughs> Go me on here. The, the orbs though, the orbs. No, 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 no. I can't wait to get ships of my own orbs one day. Maybe not in this playthrough though, because I'm very unlucky. My initial luck was lopsided and it kind of fell apart. Weird noise. Sounds like my light switch where I'd walk past it and go to bed in the morning. <laughs> I've, we got cursed uh, wiring in my house, don't worry about it. It's meant to make weird noises. Okay, that guy's nearly dead. Hopefully we get an AI call from this. Good job, everybody. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, oh, I lost one Tempest. Which is not the end of the world. Okay. Uh, yes. Totally worth it. Now, the thing is, in the past, I used to love all this because I used to be able to get like infinite amount of, um, might want to try some of these fights actually. Like those and those AI cores, it's great, right? But in this, they've changed it, haven't they? So if I go to E, this is driving me up the wall, everybody. This is ridiculous. So originally I was like, oh, it's fine. I'm pretty sure defensive measures will stack so I can have loads of like small patrol crafts. It doesn't, it's the maximum one. So I've already got a high command in one of my planets. It's already max level and it's a level 6 colony. I only get negative 18 and increased defenses is from... What is this from actually? They're also the biggest planet. So I'm even though I got all these really high powered stuff, I'm still losing plus 6 per thing to the damn ludic path everybody. There needs to be a way of stopping this. <laughs> Please! Because you already disrupt the... T if you disrupt the cells, it should just stop the generation on that world. I'm pr I'm just going to go out and say this, everybody, because otherwise, I can't really make an empire of AI calls because it just stopped me, and I can't really do anything about it. I know there is also a path where you can go and make a deal with them, but you either have to 
lived with the entire game having horrific colony income, or you had to make a deal with somebody. I'd rather there be a third option where I can just blow them up like the pirates. I mean, come on. <laughs> Let me destroy them. Anyway, so this is probably a reason I don't want to be using the AI cores much because it's just kind of ruins the flow of the game, to be honest. But like I said, maybe there's a way that I can blow them up or something and have fun while doing it. So just being forced to make peace. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not going to be able to do much of it this series, but maybe next time I can find a way around it. Or I can get mods that will probably fix it for me because I think it's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, so let's try and carry on exploring, shall we? I don't mean to complain so much, everybody, but it's been an annoying part of my series because, like I said, all these worlds, <laughs> negative 40 hostile activity, pretty annoying. Anyway, I also, I just want to point out, this world's getting pretty powerful, um, and I think in a few days we're going to get plus 10 accessibility from Way Station, and then plus 30 from Megaports. It should be pretty powerful after that, I hope. Though, we still have problems with recent unrest. I don't know where that keeps coming from. Oh, it was raided apparently. No, it wasn't. So I'm just... <laughs> I don't believe you, game. There's another fleet coming my way here. I reckon there's going to be some loot we can probably grab around here. So it's probably going to be worth. Let me just save. I'll attack this fleet. And then we'll see if we can get some loot from behind it. So I managed to go through and uh, try and check out a few systems. I have actually tried to kill one of the Nexuses, but I just can't do it, everybody. <laughs> uh, this fleet is way too squishy and just dies in a few salvos. I am, though, very close to a reset station, so if I'm lucky, I might be able to actually get myself some good blueprints. And also, we get the chance to kill a uh, drone battleship, which might be pretty fun. Let's go and deploy everybody into this battle. Uh, yes, let's go, everybody. I don't even need to get... Wait, it's ridiculous. My deployment limit is really high. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, um, also, while I was flying around, the Sindarian nation actually died. They got killed by the Tritachian Corporation. So after I get this research station, I'm going to fly back to the Core World and try and capture the Lion's HQ, which is like a super building. It may even increase uh, or decrease the amount of pirate activity I get so I can actually make money off my colonies, which I'm looking forward to. Anyway, let's go and see if we can track down this uh, battleship. Hopefully, we get this guy to tank. If, if this guy tanks, he dies. If this guy tanks, he dies. This guy might be okay. Okay. I presume everyone's going to go for this guy because he's at the front. Uh, let's send the wave off already. Yep, I can see some guys moving him. And there's the battleship. I think this guy has um, phasing. Not phasing, sorry. Um, like pulse jumps, like with the wolf. Not a great start, but if we can get rid of his support ships, it'd be a lot easier to take him down in the end. Go, my bombers! I don't want to get too close myself, because he can just gank me. <laughs> Does he have an orb? No. No orbs. Oh, he's going for it right away. Oh, yes, I have also adopted some uh, remnant fighters. But i got to say, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I don't know why I would pick them over something else, personally, but... It's a really weird shield he has on this. I would do a fighter strike mission, but I think it would be best to keep everything, because they keep moving around between positions. So it's best to leave it as it is. Or... Nah, screw it! This guy's at the front line, it'll be fine. Everybody, we're bombing this guy. Send the fighters. If we get the flux up high enough, it should just die, hopefully. My guys, go and get go as well. Engage! Overload it, overload it. It's trying to phase away. Shame the um, carry is not in range of it, so uh, Mjolnir is there, but oh well, it's fine. It's a pretty good start. We haven't lost anybody, and he's already, well, on the ropes actually. His armor's gone, his flux is still very high. Overload! Ah, oh, come on, it's so close! This is where having warships would be really handy, because you can immediately overload them. I'm trying to get a bit closer, though, with my um, high-velocity driver. Oh, that's equipped, my bad. Nice, it's over them. That bomb's going to get him. Unless the bombs... Oh, the bombs wiped out half the wave! Damn it. Who would have thought bombers were the perfect anti-bomb defense? <laughs> Um, okay, well, we've got the big ship anyway, so I'm just going to pull back a little bit. 
I assume this is a guaranteed Alpha Core as well. At least I hope it will be. So my guys fall back a little bit. Oh, I also picked up some um, Ludic Path bombers. They have like a really cool hammer torpedoes. I think they're hammer torpedoes. Something like that. Come on. I thought we lost a lot of fighters in that first wave, so we haven't got a lot of bombings right now. What is he what's he even doing? Very weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening with those uh remnant bombers, I'm not gonna lie. Oh look at this. And done. Okay, so I think that's pretty much just wrapped up. And let's see what's inside the research base. Hopefully it'll be worth all my time, because otherwise I've just been flying around for no reason. Well, I guess I've got like four or five AI cores, but still. Which I can't use, because of, <laughs> of the damn path. Yes. Done. Uh, was that it? Oh, was, ooh, I didn't even see that one. Where is that? I was about going up over here with one of those uh, carriers. I didn't had no idea. Looks like we're about to win anyway, though. Cool. Is that it? Clean victory. So hopefully I can get to where I want here. More AI cores. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, what do I get? Um, phase destroyer and. I didn't know it was an LRM version. Regardless, not very exciting, but I'll take them both anyway. Why not? And we got a bunch of other stuff as well. Shield generator, sender shield, solar shielding. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Whatever. Unless. <gasps> Low tech blueprints. I can sell these. And I got more bio. I got so many bio factories at this point. There's bio factories everywhere. Okay, that's enough exploring for me then. I'm done here. I did not get what I wanted. It's fine. We'll make do with the equipment I have available. Uh, I'm going to teleport back to... Okay, first off, we'll come back in a second when I take over the old Sindarian homeworld. And then we'll try and do a fortress battle. Okay, I've actually made it to the uh, final system. I'm just going to declare war on the Triatachion dudes in a second. Before that, though, I'm just going to drop off some AI calls I picked up earlier. Let's have a look. So they've already got a lot of them anyway. Um, oh, I've not upgraded this yet. That's okay. So I've actually got this really powerful fuel production, which is probably doing most of my stuff in this sector. How much is going to... Wait, if I just put this on. So, of course, it increases my economy and stuff. But if I go back out and I go and look at this, 26... It's still 26. That hasn't actually increased the... Interesting. I might put more on. <laughs> If the game's not going to stop me, it's fine. Um, increases fleet size, increases demand. I'll keep it for the other colony. I just want to put that on there to increase the production a little bit. Um, did it actually work? Production six. It did work. Okay, cool. A lot of fuel is being produced here at the moment. In fact, I am the largest fuel producer in the sector. Why should I say that? No, I'm not. I technically produce more quantity. But the nearby base I'm about to invade actually has the monopoly because of the access. Anyway, let's actually go and take that guy down, shall we? Why is there loads of food here? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so hopefully I've gotten back here in time that he hasn't replenished the garrison. It's still down. Perfect. Okay, how are we going to do this? <gasps> okay, everybody. We have a chance to capture an astral. It's happening. I don't care. I'm doing it. I've wanted this for so long. But every time I try and find one, it's like, oh, it costs a million pounds. I go, oh, okay, that's fine. Save a million pounds. <laughs> then it's not available anymore. It's a continual cycle of sadness. Uh, grab that sense jammer. I think we might need it. So, guys, when you blow it up, don't blow it up too much, okay? We need to keep it intact so we can recover it. Hope this works. Also, if I get the Lion HQ anyway, though, this has become my most powerful world, so it's going to be very, very handy. Um, there he is. The Astral. Hey, let me just double check it. It's called an Astral, right? I think it is. <laughs> just in case it's not. I don't normally play base games that often, so I don't really fight these factions. So I'm like, oh, I, I'm more familiar with, like, the Imperium ships or, like, the uh, Diabo Avionic ships. 
It looks like my guys are going for the attack over there. I can't want to just get in range and see its beauty. There it is. Astral, I'm correct. It's fine. Ooh. Uh oh. Um. Are you okay, buddy? One person with a bomb is not going to be enough to take this thing down. But that's okay. Everyone, all my allies are going for the attack over there at the moment. I could technically just tell them to do a fight strike on this. And it'll kill it. Let's go, guys! We're gonna carrier strike the carrier. It's like World War II all over again. Uh, you probably need to leave, friend. <laughs> You're having a terrible time. Yeah, look how weird that looks with the weapons being bright red and everything else being black. Very strange. Okay. I'll wait for some backup to show up. Where are all your bombers? Ah, here they come. I'll send mine as well. I like the circle shield as well. Ooh. Oh, I, gra I grabbed some of it, but I, got I took a bit of damage there. It's already going down. Perfect. Tempest to say, is that the one that was trying to run away? No, it wasn't it's someone else. There is a Medusa down there, though. They're pretty fast. It might be able to grab the Tempest and uh, gank it. Come on, guys. I want to see a big bombing run. It is going down anyway. The power of this is its ability to phase its fighters back into its hangar, I'm pretty sure. No! <laughs> Somebody help me! It's dead, it's dead. Also, hopefully, because we're actually attacking an invasion fleet right now, I might be able to recover a bunch of weapons from it. Which would be really handy, because I can use it then to reinvade the world they just took in over. I do still have around a thousand marines and a ton of weapons anyway, so I think I'll be able to do it regardless, but still. Now also, if I do capture this place, I can dump all the AI cores on it immediately. Hey, go in. Oh, that's that noise. It's this thing. Still not, I think it's cool that there are missile lasers, but still, I think the other uh, ones were a better choice. Come on. Yes, very squidgy ships. There's only a few left. We've got a Medusa and the other one. We had to pursue this one, though, because we want to get as many kills as possible with the invasion fleet. Oh, this is going to do it. I can, I'm, I'm sure. I was wrong. <laughs> Why is it shield so good? Damn it. Oh, I'm in engage mode. Oops. Uh, full speed. Go. They're running away, aren't they? Claim victory. I'll pursue them. War has been declared. Wait, what? They maneuver for another engage? Why? <laughs> Why? It's fine. Give me a second. Okay, the enemy invasion fleet has been destroyed again. Now, let's see if we can do a quick pursue. Get as many... I'm just going to send everybody. Screw it. I don't care. But <laughs> I want to kill all of them. Some got away, but it's okay. Uh, let's recover... It's not there! No! <laughs> Damn it. I've never seen a game so hell-bent on soft me getting an astral. Um, I will take... All of it, I guess. Not very good, but I got all those are weapons. That's the main important thing here. Weapons are what I wanted anyway. Let me just uh, double tap. Nah, no, I was hoping we might find the astral and the refill, but oh well, it's okay. So, I have plenty of stuff. Let's go and uh, take this down. What is this? Ship Manorial. One credit. Oh, it's got some free XP. <laughs> I'll take it. Anyway, uh, invade world. We're going in. We have the advantage. No, I don't. Oh, wait. Do I have so many heavy units? It's just deploying guns. <laughs> just guns. Oh, I'm actually a bit concerned about the... Let me look quickly. Oh, it's defenders. Oh, wait. What am I doing? <laughs> Something's happening right now. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. Um, everyone deploy, I guess. Everyone's a bit weak from the previous battles, but I want to get this place captured. Might see if I can raid this place as well. Oh, 
Oh, an Odyssey. I also want one of these. Capture the Odyssey. Oh, I say capture, blow it up, but still. <laughs> I was like, there's someone missing here. You can't keep these trips away from me forever. I will get one eventually. Kill it gently. Disabled, okay. Hopefully we're okay. Oh. Ooh, don't get rid. The remaining ones are not a problem. This should be quite a quick wrap up. Okay. No! <laughs> ah! Even more depression. It's, it's piling up at this point. Still might need to get some tactical bombardments. It's going to be annoying, but in the long run I will get the Super HQ, so I'm going to have to do it. Sorry guys, I really need to get this base. Anything I can grab here? There's an alpha core I can grab. That's pretty much it. I'll take the alpha core as well. <laughs> Thank you! I already have loads of these, but I'd rather have more. Cool. Um, we have to wait a little bit. I'm going to start the inv invasion. Invade! Okay. I got a lot of sap power. Wait, what's happened here? I have questions. It seems there's already people fighting on this world. Rebel battalions. Oh! Awesome. Okay, let's go and drop on the biggest defense units then. So it's going to be these three. Uh, go, 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 guys! Oh my, look at the power! <laughs> the power! Oh my god, I just realized my... <laughs> I got no... Supplies. I'm going to get some more stuff. Um, I think this place actually makes supplies. I'll just grab it quickly. I'm pretty rich at this point anyways, it's fine. Um, I hope this doesn't give the world back to Sundarians. That would be very upsetting for me. I want it for myself. Hey, guy, I need some supplies for the battle if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay, something good. Uh, auto move, I'll wait a little bit and we got this in the bag. How are they still in the game? I thought they died. One hidden market. Oh, they colonized something. This is my world though, right? <laughs> Even if I am allied, I still want this damn world, okay? I'm taking it. Okay, the all moves does not seem to be working. Uh, I will... Do it myself. I didn't just deploy any unit, did I? Aha! It's mine now! <laughs> Perfect! I still keep my alliance at the same time. Okay. Ah! I got some free fuel as well. So everything's broken because I disrupted it. It's going to be disrupted for years. Literally years. But it's okay. Uh, I'm just going to store my Super AI cores. Don't mind me, game. Got fuel disruption as well. Very cool. Uh, this is going to be the biggest place in the end. 
Wait, where did the um lion beast go? Oh, did it delete itself, baby? It's sad if it did. That's, that's annoying. Anyway, it's fine. Um, let's deploy money saving measures. Wells cost a lot of money, Doc. Keep 10 grand. Loads of money. Saw them there as well. So it's going to make me a lot poorer for a long time, but eventually it'll make me richer. <laughs> so it's going to be a balancing act, everybody. I guess I can assault other AI calls while I'm here as well. I probably should give this dude a lot of units to help defend. Uh, let me just give you. So, after this, I'm, the final thing I want to try and do is do a fortress attack. Though, as you've seen on the last few snippets of this game, I'm extremely unlucky with getting large ships. I, it's just annoying. Um, so, <laughs> I will attempt to get an allied force to help me do it, maybe. Or maybe I can west a navy. Ah. Yes. How much is it going to cost me if I do this? 605. Okay, I'm going to save up then. And we're going to do a attack on the... Hegemony main base. Let me go from there. Target market. Jericho. Cost is still the same. Okay, I'm going to just go and get myself some money and we'll start an invasion. I actually just arrived in Jericho to start the final attack and my guys are already attacking the fortress. But I've actually just spent a million pounds getting a giant fleet. So I'm going to wait for that and then we're going to go in. Oh, they lost anyway. At least they're actually fighting though and trying to make a difference. <laughs> but as I said, we're to actually do a final attack soon when uh, my fleet creates itself. Uh, when's it going to happen anyway? Is that it? No, that's something else. Darren Station. Oh, I might have to go and stop that. Do you know what? I don't care at this point. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. How do I see what I've done though? Where's my bought attack? Alliances, captures. Rebellion, smuggling, Gretchen. I'm not sure. It should be around here somewhere. Invasion Jericho. Estimate date of arrival, 70 days. Okay, so we'll come back when that starts and we can go from there. I think the... I think it's begun, everybody. Look at this fleet. I've got five fleets of just terrible carriers <laughs> and random ships. Are they going to start attacking? I think we're doing it. Okay, let's go, guys. We're going in. The station is actually just over here, so it's super easy to get to. Do you reckon all this can defeat a single Star Fortress? That is my question. I'll get him to actually go into the battle first, and I'll jump in. Okay, they're engaged. One's in. Are they in the battle? I guess I'll screw it. going. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but we're going to go and join the battles. Yes. Let's do it. It's going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> think of this fleet is ridiculous. How much do I even deploy anyway? One unit. I'll just deploy myself. I'm not going to deploy any small ships in this one anyway because of the um, minefields of doom. We'll try and avoid it if we can. Not the minefields. It's a lot worse at the start because the, but it, it's bad at all times. I mean, the the less ships there are, the more they congregate around certain things. So these ships are all going to die from the mines, I would imagine. The first ship should be okay though. Um, the battle's already started over there. Let's get a bit closer. Oh yeah, I picked up this blueprint earlier because I just found it in the shops. So I was like, screw it. It's the what low tech battle cruiser. It's, why not, right? <laughs> we got like 50 of them, so hopefully we can get through the enemy defences eventually. Um, enemy, we haven't even touched the station yet. Uh, what do I want to do to help out? Maybe I should go for some of the side guys? Ah, let's go for the actual base itself. Go, bombers! I have not got very good at guns, I'm not clearly. <laughs> I'm a bit scared about not having my shields up at the moment because I might get attacked by. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of all the adds. Let's get rid of the drones, the nearby ships, and then hopefully we can spend more firepower on the actual starport itself. 
I'm not going to deploy units until the end because I'm pretty sure we'll have continual reinforcements coming in for a long time. Excellent. Uh, go for those walls if you can. Let's get rid of them. Face tank ships, go! Try to show me got all these phase ships. I put phase on minimum, but it still deploys those of them for some reason. I don't know how to... <laughs> I wish there was a bit more options. You can just have no phase ships. Or you can just say, do not spawn this ship type. I think that'd be really handy as well. Have a custom fleet of your own design. Okay, we are slowly getting through these armor bits here. Let's see how we... I can help here. Very cool. Is the AI going to spawn more reinforcements? We're at 40 deployment points at the moment. I mean, if it doesn't, I'll just spawn my fleet at the end if there's... Okay, it's spawning things. Okay, here we go. Cool. Because we're all sharing the same deployment points, so I don't want to just jack their stuff. I'm a bit too close. It looks like they're actually putting back some of their heavy ships, though. Uh, oh. <laughs> Maybe it didn't work out very well in that guy's case, so. Oh, they're dying in droves. But it's okay, I spent a million pounds on this attack. It will succeed. We will do this. How's my regrouping going? Slow. Oh, it's a Reaper Bombers. Uh, Cobras, I think they're called. Come on, shoot something. Oh, don't, don't shoot at me, though. What is it doing? <laughs> That's overloaded. We don't know. Oh, it's going for me? I was not paying attention. It's okay, though. I don't think they got enough time to actually get any damage on me here. Okay, we've got some more of these big ships coming up. Despite the losses, it's actually not going that badly. We are making an impact here. I mean, all these ships are just gonna, they're all just gonna teleport away anyway after I win, so it doesn't matter if they get wiped out anyway. I kind of wish in a way there was more persistence with um, how factions create and man fleets. Because I know you build the building to just spawn them in, I kind of wish it had like a capacity and you actually had to build up and get resources to build stuff. I think it would be quite interesting. The moment, they kind of just, like I said, they just spawn in. And there's no real uh, issue if they die, it just needs to get respawned later. Oh no, the mines! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. The mines! I saw an enemy ship. I had no idea. Just no shield. Pull back full speed. I might have to retreat this ship. Nope, we're okay. It's fine. It's merely a flesh wound. Don't worry about it. Ooh, that section is nearly dead of the little side bit there. If we just get... I've got no bombers, though. We got more reinforcements! Oh, we got we got this design. I knew it was good, Dominators. That would have been better than building the big things. Uh oh. Let's be careful here. My HP is extremely low. I did also put a bit of an emphasis on carriers. I think four pips. But like I said, I only had... The Mora and the Condor unlocked. It's not like we've got a lot of uh, crazy carriers going on here. Okay, we're not going to see much progress until these guys get a bit closer here. Hopefully these Dominators can make a bit of an impact though. If they get a bit closer. I'm waiting for my guys to reload. And I can try and kill some of these random enemies like this guy. Get the wolf! Did we kill one of the sessions? Yes, I think we did. Once its HP starts going down, we got this. Oh, we've got longbows though, I forgot about that. Very handy, especially for the anti-shield stuff. That other side section is down as well. It's now just the hangar and the actual gun section, and this guy is dead. It's fine, don't worry about it. Where are my dominators anyway? Look at these monsters! She might not get that with good guns. I imagine they were like Mjolnir's or like Gorse Cannons would be amazing. Oh, 
It's not going to be long now. I think we're nearly there. What how many ships we've lost in this battle? It's going to be a lot, I'm pretty sure. It's going for me. Oh, be careful. Hide behind the venture. It's very tanky. It's fine. It's my personal meat shield. Excellent. Jimmy to spawn so many ventures are. I wish I could like I said customize a little bit more and just get more of these guys. I can't spawn any reinforcements carrier wise though, but they are about to lose that space. Yes, next bit. Oh, on the next pass, I should die. And then we have wiped out the smart space fortress. Look at all these mines everywhere though. <laughs> There's so many mines! This is why I don't like uh, spawning in small ships in this battle. Sorry, Jericho. I know we were once allies, but not anymore. Yes! Victory! With that, I'm pretty sure I will become the strongest nation in the entire star sector. Um, I would have potentially considered carrying on, but not without mods, everybody. I think I need some mods for uh, additional ships, weapons, that kind of thing. So, they're just running away. They're going to run away. I think that is going to be it for the series. How many ships did we lose? Not that bad, actually. We did lose a lot there, but it wasn't the end of the world. I'll take it. Thank you. So, yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed this. Um, it is definitely viable playing as a carry only race. I would recommend though, if you do play this game, get a mods everybody. I think mods add a lot, quite a lot. There's mods like the one I'm using, Nextroom mod, adds a lot of the 4K stuff. Um, like 4X, sorry, like the ca capturing stations and stuff. There's also a lot of mods that increase the amount of stuff you can do with colonies. And hopefully they might add some things to help negate the, um, issues with using any AI cores and stuff. But that though, I've really enjoyed playing this. Um, I thought I'd keep it short because I presume by the time this is out, the Sussex series would have stopped doing so well. Um, but I will definitely play this again. I've just got to figure out when to play it again. And uh, hopefully next time we can do like another challenge thing or something akin to that. Other than that though, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.